Welcome to All You Need to Know with Sunstar Baguio. This is Conway Copas, and this is where we discuss relevant issues from relevant sources. And with us in this episode is La Trinidad Mayor Romeo Salda to talk to us about his plans in the Benguet capital town. Thank you, Mayor, for joining us in our episode today. So we, we let's go on with the point. We have to get a handle on what is the biggest issue that's controlling our country today, which is the COVID-19 or the coronavirus disease. What is the impact of this coronavirus disease in the Benguet capital town? There's a big impact, uh, especially on our economy and of course the business uh, sector, the people of uh, La Trida. Uh, we know so much that uh, this is an agricultural uh, municipality and the uh, farmers that produces strawberry and other vegetables, they, our cut flowers also were affected. Let's make this specific. Let's delve into the tourism sector. How has it affected the tourism sector of La Trinidad? It greatly affected our tourism because no more visitors, no more tourists coming in uh, to visit our tourism sites, uh, no more strawberry picking, and uh, uh, no more buyers on our uh, passes uh, foods which was prepared by our processors and of course our farmers. And also March 20 was declared as a non-working holiday for La Trinidad and yet the, the strawberry festival was cancelled. How do you answer the questions of these farmers in which they already produce their strawberries? Uh, that's the problem. What we are have the talk to the farmers is we are going to process now the strawberry, fresh strawberry into jam, uh, which uh, uh, were not catered by our uh, some buyers uh, because we have uh, processors for strawberry jam. Uh, if they cannot buy all the produce of the farmers, the municipality will be the one to process. We have processing center at Longdong, and that's the uh, that's uh, uh, we let them process there. Uh, they, they can use our facility. Uh, for processing strawberry jam and strawberry puree. And now that the entire Luzon is in enhanced community quarantine, the biggest question is what happens to the vegetable trade of La Trinidad and this Bengal capital? Uh, it's good that uh, on the uh, order of the president, uh, foods are not included. So the baptisi and trading post uh, farmers are still uh, on operation. And uh, we would like to thank that uh, some buyers from Manila, from other uh, region came uh, to buy our vegetables. But uh, I just received a call uh, uh, from our traders that uh, in Manila, uh, I think there are some orders uh, of uh, Mayor Escomorino that uh, they are going to uh, there's an order that until 8 p.m. down lang yung uh, mga traders natin sa Manila na mag uh, display sa Recto at saka Divisoria. Uh, I will just verify first to the mayor if that's true. Kasi yung strawberry, uh, yung mga vegetables na uh, dadalhin sa Recto at saka Divisoria, it needs 24 hours sana. Kung 8 p.m. lang, Okay lang siguro kung 8 p.m. Kasi uh, yung buyers naman, natin sa Manila naman is uh, the buy in bulk. So hope that uh, the time uh, that was given can uh, our traders can dispose all the vegetables that uh, they are going to bring down to Manila. Of course, on the matter of trading, how does the local government unit assure that while they're trading that these traders are safe, most especially through checkpoints and going inside and out of Manila and the other key markets, Luzon, besides the Mindanao? Uh, we are giving them a sanitary permit and of course some are requesting us to give certification that they are one of the traders in trading posts in, in Baptisi. 
that was uh, one of the requirement uh, that was required in uh, Tawid Dagat who is going to Iloilo and Palawan. So there was a, if they have uh, uh, taken a business permit, there is a sanitary permit attached to it. That they, it, that's what they are going to show to uh, the uh, port. And uh, in Manila, uh, the certification that they are one of the buyers and traders in trading posts in Baptisi. Of course, also along the highways, we concentrate on the transportation sector. How is the situation here in La Trinidad regarding the PUVs and the PUJs? Uh, problem now is uh, PUJs uh, is not allowed. And of course, taxi is not allowed. But we received some requests if uh, uh, the dialysis patient uh, uh, will be given a transportation for them because they have no uh, private uh, cars. So that's what we are going to cater. That all we will be requesting the PUGs, uh, the municipality will be the one to pay the PUG a certain group of uh, uh, PUGs uh, to cater all this emergency. Uh, yung mga dialysis machine na pupunta sa hospital, yung mga families that going uh, per family sa isang barangay who is going to purchase some uh, needed uh, uh, sa bahay nila. So, siguro uh, from 8 to 10 o'clock, yun lang ang bigay namin na itong identified PUGs. We'll be giving a sticker to this uh, uh, PUGs but uh, maintaining the one meter uh, social distancing. Since you mentioned patients and those who are in need of transportation, what about the persons with disabilities or okay, PWDs? They are included. And also, since you mentioned from Barangay, what is the LGU's action in the Barangay level? Uh, we will be having a meeting with uh, the Punong Barangays to identify all the uh, marginalized, uh, the low-income uh, families in the respective Barangay to submit all the list. So, kung kailan na yung foods, with the, our aim is WD, we really want to bring the foods uh, that the, these marginalized uh, uh, stakeholders uh, need. Can you also identify the specific checkpoints or point of entry or exits that are present here in Latin America? Uh, we have identified four. Uh, it's Game 3, uh, the city limit, Longlong, uh, Shilan, and Bakal. This is the four uh, checkpoints that uh, the PNP, our medical, and uh, our barangay health workers uh, will be the one to man this checkpoint. Moving on to the workforce, a lot of people are affected by what's happening today and yet, what is the LGU's plans regarding government employees and their work scheme? Uh, the work scheme is, uh, uh, yesterday we have a meeting that it will be, because we received a civil service uh, memo, that it will be for this, uh, uh, for this work. But they are going to complete the 40 hours work in one week. So, supposed to be Monday to Friday, they are going to work uh, uh, 10 hours. And it will be the department head will reschedule the staff who will going to work uh, MW, uh, Monday to Friday uh, per schedule. Uh, 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 they are going to complete the 10 hours work. And now that we receive uh, a new uh, order from the president, uh, so the department head will just uh, give every staff to do at home. So they are going to work at home. Uh, and some skeletal uh, personnel will just stay at least one per office uh, to cater whatever uh, some emergency or some of our stakeholders needed. But uh, siguro walang client because strictly that will be enforcing the quarantine at home. What is so, the situation, uh, excuse me, what is the situation regarding their salaries? 
uh, we the job orders the, that's the problem of our job orders but uh, the regular okay uh, uh, it's uh, they are going to pay because they are going to work at home yung job order no natin no work no pay so yan ang problem but uh, we will consider they are going to work in WF in TTHS they will get the salary for the one one week parang yung two days will just give the salary for consideration moving on to the business sector what is the LGU's plans regarding hoarding of these sanitary or sanitary materials? That's the problem because that's our problem. We, are, we need masks, we need uh, the thermo scanning, uh, which will be used by our volunteers. Uh, we have ordered uh, since uh, uh, three weeks ago, but until now, they are supposed to deliver yesterday, but there is no uh, stock now and our canvas was 3 pesos per piece of the mask but uh, the supplier told us it's uh, 20 pesos per piece so uh, even though it's 20 pesos you deliver but uh, until now we are just waiting if uh, he's going to deliver this mask which was badly needed in the thermo iskana uh, with the, with what you mentioned how do you assure the safety of our health workers and the frontliners which are going to be the frontliners for the covid-19 infected what about their personal protective equipment yeah that's uh, what we are going to provide uh, we have discussed but uh, only our doctor dr digay will be the one to give the complete uh, protective uh, gears because he's, he will be the one to uh, address the uh, PUI, PUI. Uh, those who are uh, uh, affected, uh, the other uh, volunteers will just use their masks and gloves uh, to assist the uh, our doctor. But the uh, our uh, municipal doctor will be the one to face the all the patient. Uh, it's not our vol the volunteers because he will be giving uh, protective gears. But uh, alternately, we, the doctor had suggested that we'll be make our own uh, protective gear, uh, uh, giving the plastic. Uh, kaya our MDRR officer had already the, uh, given some uh, orders from our uh, uh, provider. Uh, so we are going to distribute uh, siguro ko mga tapos na kasi uh, parang yung initiative namin is yung to uh, buy plastic kilo yung garbage plastic yun ang gagamitin nila temporarily uh, if we the uh, equipment that we have ordered will be uh, arriving yun ang ibibigay namin but uh, for the meantime we are going to use the whatever available materials that we can they can use for protecting uh, our uh, for their protection are there any updates regarding the health sector in the hospitals and health centers here whether or not there are test kits available uh, we have ordered some to the doh but uh, hope that uh, some are available distributing it to all the ngos in uh, Binget, uh, hope that it will be arrived uh, so that uh, uh, the four uh, checkpoint will be operational. And also in the barangay level or in the city limits, what is the curfew for minors? Uh, we ordered that uh, uh, from 0 to 18 years old, they are not supposed to go out on their home and 60 years in above uh, they, uh, they are not allowed to go out on their home uh, per family they should one that will be assigned to purchase or to go out whatever they have written uh, and they should select uh, the healthy member of the family which, uh, which is going to go out uh, uh, to purchase uh, uh, some needed uh, foods or needed materials that uh, they are going to use in their home. And uh, curfew to minors is uh, uh, talagang walang curfew na. Uh, it's, uh, they, are, they are not allowed to go out. 
All right. Well, setting aside the heavy topics, there is also the issue of cityhood. And for the past years, officials here had been pushing for the cityhood of La Trinidad. During your term as mayor, will this town officially become a city? I uh, hope uh, through the bill of uh, Congressman, yeah, hope that uh, this uh, Latin, that uh, our dreams, because we have also a the Sangguran Bayan had uh, enacted resolutions for cityhood uh, of La Latinidad, and uh, with uh, the uh, sisterhood of some municipality. Uh, yun naman ang sabi nyo na uh, itong Trinidad uh, supposed to be city na. But uh, we know so much that uh, we are operating a city since we have uh, over, uh, the overflow of Baguio City is coming in. So we have uh, banks, 17 banks. We have a, a population of uh, 149. And our income is uh, qualified uh, to be a city. Only the population is our problem because uh, it's only 8,000 plus, but the requirement is 10,000 hectares. We are only 8,000. And hope that uh, there was a mob of uh, Barangay uh, Shilan and Kaponga that will be resolving the boundary dispute of uh, uh, Toblay and Lateri that, that will add uh, to the area. Uh, because uh, Trinidad and Toblay are not receiving the exact amount of error because of the boundary. If we are going to resolve that, Trinidad and Toblay will be benefited on the error uh, which uh, each municipality will are going to receive. Well, finally, Mayor, what is your message to the people of La Trinidad, most especially during these times? Uh, to the people of La Trinidad, uh, uh, I ask uh, your cooperation, your sacrifice, and your participation in all orders uh, which you are going to receive to be implemented in this municipality. We ask you, kung wala tayong portanting puntahan, we better stay at home. And if ever na mayroong member of the family uh, which uh, uh, feel the symptoms, siguro voluntarily niya pupunta sa hospital or let their barangay officials accompany din para sila na ang pupunta pa magdala sa hospital. Uh, it is our uh, concern, it, this is everybody's concern, so uh, dapat na kailangan natin na mag-iisa, magka-iisa para uh, we are not going uh, we are going to save the life of others. Uh, ito yung, uh, we ask your cooperation for our children, uh, 0 to 18 years old, and our elders, 60 to and above, to uh, minimize going out and stay at home, rest, and maintain your uh, hygiene para in the time up, uh, will not be affected with this uh, COVID-19. Thank you, Mayor Romeo Salda, for joining us in our episode today with All You Need to Know with Sunstar Baguio. For more updates, visit us at our website at sunstar.com.ph Baguio and like us on Facebook at Sunstar Daily Baguio. Till next time, this is Conway Copas, reminding you to grab a copy of Sunstar Baguio, the only daily newspaper in Northern Luzon. And that's All You Need to Know with Sunstar Baguio. Thank you. <laughs>